Guys, welcome back to another vlog. Oh, also look who we have in the back seat, by the way. I don't know, I have to take him with me. I also feel like he's gonna kill me or something, possess me. Oh, you wouldn't do that, you wouldn't do that, right? See, I'm gonna go to Connor's place, we're gonna be chilling, we're gonna watch the menu in the cinema, we're gonna go out for dinner, all sorts of fun stuff. We're gonna have ghost gin, finally again. And we're gonna be meeting up at the grocery store, so uh, let's go. I'm gonna be listening to Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes while driving. I've been absolutely in love with this band and I'm gonna be seeing them live Saturday this week actually so I'm very excited for that because they have some fucking amazing music man I'm gonna be listening to their album ah modern rune I guess I had to choose there am I the only one who always takes forever to fucking connect their phone to their car on Bluetooth like come on it's 2022 we're supposed to be flying with these things According to Back to the Future at least and I can't even connect my phone to Bluetooth to my car like god damn it dude 3,000 years later Okay, I got it. Let's go guys So we arrived at the grocery store yep. and we did not plan this at all, but no Yeah, we did. Oh the shirts. Yeah, we it's have just the exact a coincidence. same fucking yeah. shirt How is it possible? Uh. I can't believe it, like he got out of the car, I see his shirt, I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got the exact same fucking yeah. shirt. Unbelievable. Got some protein drink. Oh yeah. So we're now going to go back home and also I would like to give a shout out to Starbucks. Not sponsored by the way. <laughs> yeah man. But uh, I drank this shit. It's like... Oh no, which flavor is that? White chocolate. Oh no no! I had the um, I had the hazelnut one last year. The, this say a Christmas kind of special. Yeah, right? yeah. That was also a Christmas vibe coffee. Oh man, it was so bad. For <laughs> real. It was nasty. It had no flavor. It was just plain, and it was just no, no sugary taste. Nothing. Like I know I'm fat, but. <laughs> <laughs> it has a, a little bit of sugar, you know? But you know what I mean, so don't drink the hazelnut one. So anyway, the white chocolate one was nice. Just for charity work here, because we're not getting paid for our sponsorship, sadly. I wish. <laughs> I wish too. <laughs> I think Nicolas Cage would not be happy with her. Okay, <laughs> pig. <laughs> that movie was fucking depressing, dude. So Connor recently got this shirt. It's a uh, Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers shirt. It was too small for him. So I'm gonna try it out now, see if it fits me. Cause I absolutely love this shirt. Like I'm not a huge Halloween 6 fan, I gotta be honest. I love the vibes in the film. Uh, I love some of the kills. This is one of my favorite shots actually of Michael Myers. That kills is fucking awesome. Like there's no denying that. But some of the thorn cult shit is just kind of like, Bruh. I don't know. But I mean, they had to follow Halloween 5, which is just the worst Halloween movie, in my opinion. Um, anyways, I'm gonna try it out now, so. It's such a weird size though, because yeah, like the is. arms are perfect, yeah. but then it's so long. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like it's super tight, but so long. Like what the fuck kind of yeah, It's a real weird fit. Terror never rests in peace. Well, I'm buying it from you, man, just to confirm. Wait, wait, let's do a, let's do a fucking model compilation. So I went to Dutch Comic Con last week and I found a 25th anniversary Ghostface mask. The infected masks. And yes, mine is infected, but I don't give a shit. Uh, so this is the one with the, uh, with the hood, with the sparkle hood. I always wanted a uh, sparkle hood since I just think makes the, the mask just pop so much more. Um, it makes it look like more official. Yeah. So I also decided to uh, get rid of my uh, older Easter Limited. So I sold that one and made a, I believe, five euro profit. So it couldn't get better there. And I also just wanted to take this moment with my buddy over here to give my thoughts on the new still from Scream 6. Personally, I want to say I absolutely love this still. I think it's fantastic. They're going a new route it seems if you are gonna be ghostface and there have been so many killers before and they all use knives and they all fail why don't you go to your tool shed and grab a shotgun for real why wouldn't you do that why would you grab a knife again and fail again you know so i feel like it's gonna be a breath of fresh air i thought 
the new screen was great but it was very forgettable also due to it being very much similar to the first ones and not being too original or taking many risks so i feel like the new york setting maybe a more brutal ghost face i don't know like we've seen one still so we can't really judge anymore but i feel like new york setting and a scene with a shotgun in a fucking liquor store in new york i think it's gonna be a much needed for me personally breath of fresh air into the screen franchise and i cannot wait to see what they do and personally, if they don't bring back Neve Campbell, I'm fine with that. As long as we get a good screen movie without her, that's fine. Anyways, what's your take? Well, my take on it is, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I haven't really seen anything about it. Like, I'm trying to avoid everything, um, every photo and video. I don't know anything except for the shotgun photo, which I remember Roger um, texting me like, have you seen this? And uh, I had seen it. But I thought that that it was photoshopped, so I still don't know. Is it real? Is it photoshopped? I don't know. Now, I agree. I thought it was fake at first, too. But um, there's another photo in the exact same liquor store with the actual cast and crew. So either it's a very, very fucking good photoshop uh, or it's real. But personally, I'm hoping so much that it's real, though. Uh, but only time will tell. I don't know. I don't hate it. I think like I've seen many many people saying like Ghostface doesn't use gun like Roger said But why wouldn't he like like it's a different person if Michael Myers would start shooting with sh shotguns It would be fucking weird. It would be funny though <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit <laughs> <laughs> No, but that will be weird. Or Jason Voorhees or Leatherface. But I don't know, time will tell. But overall, I, I just hope it will be better than the last one. What, when will it be released? March. March? Yeah, uh, March. Coming year. Yes. Yeah. And you bet your ass we're gonna do a vlog going to see yep. Scream 6. We are now going to the Gamma. I know that sounds fucking weird. If you're uh, not a Dutchie, we're going to the Gamma. Get some uh, tape for this fella over here. Yes, since Brad Lurie was nice enough to send me his autograph uh, after I interviewed him, it's fucking bright here. I decided I'm gonna put it up on my wall. Well, he decided it and I was like, actually, that's a good idea. So let's fucking do that. So this is the famous tape. Everyone started using it because of me. So no, but seriously, this is such good shit. I don't know if the people in the States have this also, but this is so good. You also have this one. There's one left and it, uh, this one you can just hang up. The mailboxes. This is so good. All my uh, prints in my room with the frames uh, are hanging because of this. So, let's get it. Mon montage kit. <laughs> no, it's montage kit montage in Dutch. Montage kit. Watch this. Super sterk. Oh, good. Direct fast. Weefsel versterkt. <laughs> Is it just me, or does that look like Michael Myers hiding behind the bushes? <laughs> the shape stalks. All right, now this fireplace thingy is real nice, but it's really small. What do you think you'd pay for that? So it is, it is great looking, don't get me wrong, but look at this. That's expensive as fuck. And I think it's warm as well or something. Oh. <laughs> so, who's the lead singer of KISS? Paul? Bruh. <laughs> when I see Christmas vibes in a store, I don't think, yes, it's Christmas. I think soon I'll be watching Silent Night, Deadly Night again. Hell yes. <laughs> it's my And Gremlins. I don't do that yearly. That one I don't watch the yearly, man. Gremlins and Silent Night every year. For me, it's Silent Deadly Night is a 5 out of 5 movie. Yeah. 5 stars. Yeah. It's one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, just really in general. Not even just in Christmas yeah. movies, just in general. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Roger for giving me this The Shining poster. We uh, did a little trade. Suits my bet real well. I don't know why, but it's just... Uh... Just now, whenever you're doing something in bed, anything, uh, he's looking down. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to eat at any time again. Bro, when do you want to eat? Uh, any time. So what are your expectations going into the film? Nothing, really. No, <laughs> no 
nothing for me either, no, honestly. No, no, but, but to be fair, like, not much. Just uh, like Barbarian, you know, it's yeah. exactly the same. Because I saw the trailer and I heard from someone that it's kind of a horror. Well, not horror, but it has horror elements and it's like a dark comedy, pretty much. Yeah. Exactly. With some, uh, like, horror elements here and there. Yeah. But other than that, like, I didn't, I don't know anything about it. I saw the trailer. I saw the trailer for it when we watched Barbarian, actually. I mean, oh, we yeah, did too. Yeah. We saw the trailer, cinema, but right? so it looks interesting, and I'm very curious. But overall, no expectations really. No. My speculation is, for some reason, I don't know. Maybe that was obvious from the trailer. I don't know if it's know, gonna be man. a twist, but I think they're like cannibals. That's know, my prediction going in. The only, like the I, only prediction I have really. I'm doing this lately, like going in blind, just not knowing anything about the film, ex except Best for way. Halloween and yeah. stuff. And I just find that it's right. so fun. Apparently it's a porn cinema, because it's called cock cinema. <laughs> I think your kid self wouldn't be proud of you being an alcoholic and drinking from a Toy Story <laughs> cup. All right, cheers, man. Cheers. It's better. Really fucking good. So I found some of the Dutch translated Goosebumps books. I remember reading these as a kid. I was a huge fan of them. This is where my horror journey started. I'm kind of considering buying them, but I don't think I will because like I wouldn't read them again, but seeing these covers brings back a lot of memories and it's really just super cool to see again. Like, you know, it's just seeing this cover about the clock horror story. I just remember reading it and it's really cool to see, so. But I don't think I'll buy it. Nope, I did find this. Kiss. It is confidential and extreme close-up, double feature special edition, so it's two movies in one. You know, some live footage, and I always love to throw this back on in the background. It's also definitely a product of its time, like the revenge era, you know, so uh, very cool to have. So I really enjoyed the menu. I thought it was a really well done film, especially in terms of cinematography and stuff, and some shit that was just really creative like how they would have certain shots from the food and like the dishes filmed in a studio with a really cool black background and they would have the text of like the dish and everything and I also thought the structure of the movie was really cool with like it was structured with each dish you know there are certain movies that have their chapters you know like Hunt for the Wilder People is a chaptered movie this was chaptered by the dish <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I thought that was really great and well done. I thought some of the characters were great. I think the comedy was pretty well done. However, the ending I didn't really like because eventually she's like, well, I just want, I don't like your food. I want a cheeseburger. And then he was like, well, my plan is fucked now. So you, you can go. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that all about? You know, like he changed his mind so quickly. I'm, just wondering, did I miss something? Like, why was the cheeseburger so important to him that he made it personally for her and then let her go? Like, what? And also the fact that everybody would just accepted their death. Like, they weren't tied up, nothing. They just had these marshmallows around them. Like, if they put marshmallows around me and set me on fire, I'd be like, get out of here, you know? <laughs> Fucking, I just punch those marshmallows away from me and run. Nobody seemed to care anymore, but it's like, well, we're all terrible people and, you know, we're just gonna die here. But yeah, overall, four stars on my letterbox. So the menu, I absolutely love the film. Didn't expect it to be so serious since our cinema claimed it was a comedy, which it wasn't. Maybe you thought it was a comedy, but... Uh, I think it had some funny moments, but I wouldn't yeah. call it a full-on comedy, you know? No, it had, it had the comedy aspects for sure. Right, yeah. But you can't call this a comedy movie. I mean, Absolutely not. Of course, spoilers ahead, but someone shooting himself through the fucking head and <laughs> someone gets a knife in their throat. Like, how is that a comedy, you know? So I think that's the reason why I liked it way more than I thought. But I just like the vibe. I got some even uh, cooking vibes from it, like uh, cooking shows. The uh, soundtrack were cool. The characters were okay. okay. 
some of them a bit annoying. I think with these characters it worked that they were so annoying because that's what they true. intended with the characters, you know? True, true. It wasn't like Halloween 5, what's her name? Tina, she wasn't oh, meant man. to be annoying, but she is just annoying. <laughs> these characters were like, annoying. these are just these rich assholes that nobody likes and that's exactly what they yeah. wanted us. So, you know, you liked to hate them, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like the, 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 uh, what was his name? Oh, the guy. The boyfriend. Yeah, the boyfriend or, or the guy played by the dude that, um, voices shit the sloth. <laughs> It was funny. It was funny. He was so funny. The, dude. the boyfriend, I don't know, is what was his name? Well, he's just he's so annoying, and and he's meant to be annoying, but it's just I don't know. But overall, real solid movie, and I think I was a little bit more hyped about it than Roger was. Yeah, for but, sure. Um, just a solid four stars on my letterbox. I wanted to give it four and a half, but I think that's a little bit too high. But just four stars. Great movie, and I can't wait to see it again. I just got back home. Carried all my stuff back upstairs and I'm now gonna be putting the <coughs> fucking hell just tripped over ghost gin. I'm gonna be putting the Brad Lurie poster up on my wall since we got the tape now. Again, thank you so much to Brad Lurie for sending me this. I interviewed him, go check out my interview with him, it's hilarious. He was such a funny dude. And yeah, shout out to him for sending this autograph. I'm gonna be putting it up right here. So I think that should be nice. I mean, look at that shit. I fucking killed it, dude. That looks insanely sick. What do you think? I think it looks amazing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.